Hello everyone, welcome back to Dr. Ghosh's Meet channel. Today we are going to deliver a very interesting talk as a part of Student Mentorship Activity 2023. I, Dr. Dipankar Ghosh, has conceptualized this entire assignment. I'm an Associate Professor and Independent PI in Microbial Engineering and Algal Biotechnology Laboratory, Department of Biosciences, JIS, University, Kolkata. Today the topic of focus is the impact of bacteriophages towards Ganga River purification and removal of pathogen in Ganga River water bodies. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to acknowledge to my all me Brumis, especially Bishwajit and Deep for their immense support and summarization as a part of Student Mentorship Activity 2023. So without wasting any more time, let's get started the glimpse and essence of this particular lecture deliberation. So let's talk about the impact of bacteriophages towards Ganga water purification. As you know that Ganga river is a lifeline of millions of people residing in the bank and regarded as the most respectful river of the Hindus. During 50s BC, Hippocrates wrote about the wound healing property of the Ganga water. However, the role or the impact of the bath in the treatment of leprosy led to believe that water was used for curative effects, especially the Ganges water. Antibacterial property of the water of Ganga Yamuna has been characterized by Hankin in 1896, long before the genesis of concept of bacteriophage has been evolved by D. Hadley in 1917. Hankin in the year of 1896 has had reported that the cure of diarrhea and cholera by using the raw Ganga water. So these are the basic history lies behind it and the rationale or notion for this particular deliberation. So as you know that uh, bacteriophages, they do play a very keen role in the biotic environment and generate diversity by showing specificity to their host. They are highly host specific, having ability to infect and change the composition of the microbial regime. Some hosts are more resistant to local phages than the other and or are better able to respond to phage mediated selection. So usually what is bacteriophage then? So bacteriophage is a class of virus which infect bacteria, the permissive bacteria, the compatible host. Bacteriophages are species specific. So not all the bacteriophages, they do have a compatibility of the broad spectrum of bacteria. Instead, they have a very local selectivity. They have tail region. In this tail region, they have the binding protein by which they can attach with the permissive host bacteria. In their head region, it is compiled with the DNA and the capsomeric protein. So DNA is injected by the phage to the host bacteria. Phages follow the two types of life cycle, lytic and lysogenic. In lysogenic life cycle, usually bacteriophage, they do integrate their genome within the host genomic DNA. Whereas in lytic life cycle, they will try to multiply within the source host and then they will lyse and get released the true virion particle to keep continuing the leg cycle of life cycle. So all bacteria are not affected by all phages, but most phages can infect in a specific species of bacteria. In one scientist Jensen in 1980, 1998 has described the prevalence of broad spectrum or the broad host range by lighting bacteriophages of Escherichia coli. Janssen is the first report, or he has reported the first time on isolation of bacteriophages from the Ganga water from Haridwar and testing of their host specificity by using pathogenic enteric bacterial species of human being. As early 1896, British bac bacteriologist Hankin had studied the bacteriocidal property of the Ganges water. He was surprised to find that the colonies of cholera bacteria that thrive in tap water quickly dried in the Ganga water treatment. So he pursued his experiment by using the boiled Ganges water and filtered Ganges water. And he was very surprised to see that while the filtered water continued to show an antibacterial effect, the boiled water didn't. So phage are composed. So it is a quite clear indication that there was certain kind of a molecule or certain kind of biotic factor to reside within the Ganga water that directly or indirectly affecting or killing the bacteria. So phages are composed of protein as I mentioned. They do have a head, tail, collar, contractile sheath. They have a tail fiber. Each and every component of bacteriophages, they do have a very unique function 
that will allow to carry out life or lysogenic life cycle as i mentioned in the previous slide for example phage that infect the cholera bacteria vibrio coli as i mentioned in the previous slide can only infect the cholera bacteria no other bacteria that is the host specificity of a specific bacteriophages of course the fact these phages often uh, target the bacteria that causes deadly diseases in added bonus phage are also a potential tool for treating the diseases caused by bacteria and particularly their specificity sometimes antibiotics do not pose us in other words unlike antibiotics phages can neatly kill or they will minimize the pathogenic load without harming the natural flora also present in the body like those were the normal microbial flora like lactobacilli in your gut which aid the digestion so there are three major factors which give the gungas its unique ability to kill the microorganisms pathogenic microorganisms the presence of bacteriophages which gives it an antibacterial nature bacteriophage are those viruses which kill bacteria by following lytic life cycle the water of ganga when added to other water resources in adequate amount cause the bacteriophage it to quickly multiply cleaning the new water resources of many bacteria present within it which is why the amsi and indian used to take ganga jal back home to clean their local water resources also the water of river ganga can be an alternative for using antibiotic to treat the bacterial diseases amsi and indians who use the water of river like ganga never require any antibiotic for very water they use was antibacterial in nature So how can you see the bacteriophage on the plate to identify that bacteriophages are present in the Ganga water? So there are a lot of different techniques and the aspects are involved over here which will allow you to understand how bacteriophages can be get identified and screened to find their ability and we can how we can able to identify them uh, that is doing this kind of activity. There are so many other factors which are also involved an unknown factor called the mystery factor which gives his this river as unusual ability to retain the dissolved oxygen from atmosphere ganga cell purifying quality that is called it leads to the oxygen level 25 times higher than any other river in the water the high levels of oxygen in the water of ganga river it's a unique ability to remain the fresh over the prolonged period of time and it will also reduce the level of dob and also co2 level goes up So the fast floating nature combined with the low temperature 5 degrees celsius gives it many unique qualities like mosquitoes can't breed it within it among can be refrigerated uh, even in seen in rishi case where the milkman used the deep milk can uh, in in to reduce the temperature hence preserving food items there was a clear indication that the ganga having a self purifying quality they do retain a lower temperature than the normal water that that's the reason why mosquito cannot able to breed that is another kind of preventive measure against the different protozoal infection to get spread it nenson another british physician noted that the water of ganga when taken even from one of the dirtiest mouth at the hubli river by ship returning to the england retained fresh throughout the long churn normal river water begins to purify over a period of time due to lack of oxygen which promotes the growth of anaerobic bacteria which in turn gives rise to the smell of this stale water that is the odor smell over there so in 1927 de hedley a french microbiologist was uh, amazed when he he was seen that only a few feet below the bodies of person floating in the ganga who had died of this the dysentery of cholera when one should expect million of germs and there were no germata in other words hindu had for thousands of years rightly believed that ganga purifies the dead bodies which is why probably the bodies of even those who died in infectious diseases were offered to his river for purification in other words the water of river ganga can be an alternative for using antibiotic to treat bacterial diseases or to reduce the bacterial load and see an indian who used the water of river like ganga river never required any antibiotic for every very water they used as antibacterial in nature this type of bacteriophage therapy was later on developed has been suggested by many researchers but rarely tried and tested or practiced in the health industries or pharma industries in fact it was the former soviet union that most active research about using bacteriophages to treat the bacterial diseases was done at the george eliab institute this research institute was so co-founded by george elivia and felix de hedley after de hedley introduced elivia to the wonderful world of bacteriophages by here an experience while he was traveling to ganga river so 
as I mentioned, uh, or as I raised some question, like how can you use the bacteriophage on the plate to identify their existence? They are present within the Ganga water. So we have to collect the phage containing Ganga water, then add to the plate water with the uh, E. coli culture, a pure culture, axonic culture. Then do serial dilution up to minus three dilution and add some uh, agar them, prepare the, the plate by using the pro plate technique. Intubate it into the 24 hours for overnight incubation and white color plug foam on the plate where life life cycle has been performed by the bacteriophage. So where the bacteria have been growing, you can see a clear lawn. Whereas bacteriophages, they have multiplying within the bacteria, the permissive host, then the lysing and releases the clear indication. So these clear spots are called the plug. So using a, a plug assay, you can easily enumerate uh, the number of bacteriophages which have infected how many number of hosts so this is the most significant number of studies or significant uh, kind of experimentation that will allow to understand that bacteriophage did reside within the ganga water if you can try them out on e coli on an agar plate so we come to a conclusion so today phage therapy is one of the again being a research at a time when antibiotic resistance is becoming a major concern, many strains of bacteria have become resistant to antibiotic because of misuse and overdose of the antibiotic or misuses uh, of the antibiotic. Therefore, the potential phage therapy can be replaced uh, instead of antibiotic to the bacteriophages which are present in the Ganga River. Um, so Ganga River can be more get cultivated to identify or to screen or characterize the bacteriophages which are present, how they have been evolving and how they are actually carrying out the lytic life cycle in that particular scenario. That is very important. So if we can able to find this out, this in invention or this information about the bacteriophage, those who are residing in the Ganga River and we can make a pure culture out of it, then maybe those bacteriophages could be a very good alternative uh, against uh, antibiotic uses or maybe it could be a potential alternative uh, as a part of the battery phase theorem in the long run so these are the few references there are a lot of people they have been working and published good research article uh, about the outcome about the characterization of those battery phases in environmental science pollution research or APO express so if you are highly interested you can go on through these papers research articles and also some links have given so you can go on through and get uh, nurture your knowledge for future. Thank you very much. I think you have enjoyed this session. So we'll come back with new video next time. Uh, so please subscribe, please press the bell icon and also uh, encourage us to come up with more videos that will be more informative to nurture the knowledge of different rounds of students. Thank you very much for your patience and your great support.